Monday, January 24th. If you want to be the best. HBCU bands are the celebrities of the band world. We the most vicious things on the block. Sacrifice everything. If at the end of the routine, you're not sweating, tired, out of breath, you're not doing it right. And go full out. The band is ranked number eight. You gonna rank us number eight? We take things personally, bro. You all are living up to the tradition. It's gonna be a show to see. March. Limited series premieres Monday, January 24th. Free next day, only on the CW app. Monday. It's Coco Chikari. And it's Cam. And we are your new hosts of The Calm, the March's recap show. How are you feeling today, Cam? I'm feeling great. How about you? I'm feeling wonderful. And let me just say, I am more than excited to see this thing play out. No, seriously. Like, seriously. I mean, like, <laughs> I've always wondered what it's been like to be a part of, like, the band. But more specifically, the marching storm. And, like, really just to see what goes in the ins and out of, like, the re their rehearsals because they're always in rehearsal. Yeah. So, like, I feel like this is about to be, like, super dope. I'm super excited. Like, I'm just, this Especially is great. Especially carrying those big instruments around. Like, my God. And, you know, like, I don't know if you, um, I don't know if you've ever had them in class, but, you know, they're always talking about practice and having yes. to run with their <laughs> instruments. So, we're just, like, we're really about to see it in real time. Yeah. I'm, I mean, like, ugh. They're always talking about, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Like, <laughs> we need to see the hunger. <laughs> we need to see oh. the tiredness. Like, no, I'm just, seriously. Like, please premiere. Please premiere so it's we like, can watch. It's like a full-time job. Yeah. That's what they always say. It's like a full-time job. They're like, dang near athletes. It should be a sport. Oh, wait. Actually, no. I think it is a sport. Is it? I think it is a sport. Band is a sport? I think it is a sport. <laughs> well, anyway, it should be. The way that they work so hard, endless hours, like, it should definitely be that. But you know what? Let's talk about this commercial that we've been seeing, the advertisement about the show. No. Hasn't it been like, like, I'm just anticipating it. Like, I've been on the edge of my seat. Oh, you just took the words right out of my mouth. Like, literally on the edge of my seat. And just seeing, like, people I've had class with, uh -huh. it's crazy. So I think, Like, yeah, seeing it's them on TV? Yes. Isn't that crazy? Talking about like the band is ranked number eight. Yeah. Like that's dope. That's our, our band is cold. For sure. Well, we are going to show you guys the commercial that we're talking about. Please take a look. Monday, January 24th. If you want to be the best. HBCU bands are the celebrities of the band world. We the most vicious things on the block. Sacrifice everything. If at the end of the routine, you're not sweating, tired, out of breath, you're not doing it right. And go full out. The band is ranked number eight. You gonna rank us number eight? We take things personally, bro. You all are living up to the tradition. It's gonna be a show to see. March. Limited series premieres Monday, January 24th. Free next day, only on the CW app. Monday, January 24th. If you want to be the best. HBCU bands are the celebrities of the band world. We the most vicious things on the block. Sacrifice everything. If at the end of the routine, you're not sweating, tired, out of breath, you're not doing it right. And go full out. The band is ranked number eight. You gonna rank us number eight? We take things personally, bro. You all are living up to the tradition. It's gonna be a show to see. March. Limited series premieres Monday, January 24th. Free next day, only on the CW app. Monday, January 24th. If you want to be the best. HBCU bands are the celebrities of the band world. We the most vicious things on the block. Sacrifice everything. If at the end of the routine, you're not sweating, tired, out of breath, you're not doing it right. And go full out. The band is ranked number eight. You gonna rank us number eight? We take things personally, bro. You all are living up to the tradition. It's gonna be a show to see. March. Limited series premieres Monday, January 24th. Free next day, only on the CW app. Monday, January. And today joining us on the Purple Couch is Joshua Gant, a yes, star yes, member yes. himself. Yes, good to be here. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel good. Um, it feels good to be in the marching storm. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. Are you excited for the show to premiere? Yes, I am. I am. Because it's this is we've been waiting for this for about so I've been here for four years. So we've been it's always been talked about like we're going to get a sh our own show, our own show. And finally, the year that I graduate is the time we get one. So it's really exciting. So I'm excited to see myself and um, my other counterparts and stuff on TV. So this would be cool. Yeah. So we've been hearing so many things about the marching storm can you just tell us like a few things that you've experienced in the marching storm um i don't even know where to begin honestly uh um i guess um <laughs> i don't even know where to begin it's so much like it's very it's a lot of pride it's very family oriented um uh honestly my favorite moment of being in the marching storm is probably all the trips we get to take so my favorite one was probably um, my first year at Jackson. That was a good. That was a good time, just because I've never been out of the state at that far at mm -hmm. the time. So it was like brand new to me. And being a freshman, you're like, oh, 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 everything is crazy. So mm -hmm. everything was pretty cool. But that was probably my favorite um, trip, just being in the marching storm. But yeah, I love yeah. that. I love that. So like, you know, when did you know, like, you wanted to join? The marching storm oh man that's a good question um so um when i moved to texas i was i didn't really i wasn't really interested in band but i just was doing my own thing trying to find things to be interested in i guess mm -hmm. and then um i had a friend at my church who went to prairie view he played the tuba actually and i got a chance to go to a football game and i was like okay like this is cool because initially um, in Louisiana, that's where I'm from. So Louisiana is Southern, Grambling, and stuff like that. And I always love seeing um, black bands and stuff. So when I saw Preview, I was like, oh yeah, Texas, that's that's the one I want to go to. And then the fact that I played trombone um, during high school, I was like, yeah, got to make sure it's Preview, got to make sure it's Preview. And really just seeing them uh, blow on whoever they were playing at the time, I don't remember so long ago, but whoever they were playing, it was just good energy. Like the energy is really what drive me to Prairie View, so, yeah. So, like, just tell us one time where you thought, like, being in the band was, like, the hardest moment. I'm about to give up. This oh, is it. One. I can't stand <laughs> I can't take it. Oh, man. Oh, uh, not there's so many. Not there's so many no, moments. No, I mean, because, <laughs> I mean, so, going through college, you realize what you're really dedicated to yeah. and what other things you're trying to be interested in, like, as far as TV station, radio station, or whatever, um, your dreams consist of. So a few of those moments, um, probably freshman year, <laughs> freshman year, they made us, um, walk around campus getting up early, probably getting up early, like getting up at five o'clock in the morning mm. just to march to the MSC and, and back and then get up again to come back to practice mm. and then stay outside from that time until, um, it was time to march back to your freshman dorms at the time and um, probably just getting up, honestly. But, I mean, those are good memories now because it's tradition. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. So, so let me understand this. So, wait, y'all would get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, mm. march to MSC, <laughs> and then you said get up again. So what so, happened in between that time? Okay, so we get up, we get up at 5 o'clock, well, a little bit earlier because if you're not in block by 5, that's your, you know, that's what you get. But, uh -huh. <laughs> um so I would say roughly for me, I would get up at 4.30. That way I could just make sure I was up and ready to be in block. So from 5, we would march to the MSC, eat breakfast from 5 to maybe 7 or something. Then um, we would either go to physical training, which is the worst. That is the worst. <laughs> physical training, because that gets us like marching in place for what? 10, 15 minutes at a time, on and off, on and off, uh, doing a campus tour that's running around the whole campus. Mm. Um, but uh, my time period is kind of off because that might be what we usually do first and then go eat, but depending on whatever time the MSC will open for us. But, um, but yeah, we would do that from like 7 to 9-ish, probably get a little break, and then come back around 11, do indoor rehearsal from 11 to – Four or like eleven to two, get a break in between there. Mm -hmm. Come back two to two to five, like around dinner time, and then from five till uh, like whenever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> when five till whenever the di band director says we're done, mm -hmm. <laughs> then we go back home. So usually, I would say 
uh, during the summertime, we would get back to like sleep around maybe 10, between 10 and 11. And then like on a regular school day, it would be like 9 to 10. Mm. So we have some pretty time field days. So tell us what instrument you play. The trombone, the trombone. And was trombone. it hard like learning the music, learning the notes, oh, yeah. the track? Well, so the school I came from, I didn't, I, we didn't have to memorize our music. Uh-huh. We oh. did not have to memorize none of that. So I got put in the fire when I came to Prairie View because they give you like, you have to learn uh, sometimes five songs a week. And if you don't remember the first song, that's on you. You got to pick your pace, you know. Yeah. But everybody can't do that, but it's very fast paced, basically. Uh-huh. So um, usually five songs a week or something like that because our book is filled of, I want to say 20 to 30 songs. Mm-hmm. So, But yes, we have to remember a lot of music. Wow. Yeah, it's not easy. Really not easy. Because if you don't remember your music, you also do not get to play. I was just about to ask that. I was just about to ask that. So if you want to play, and then on top of um, memorizing your music, you have to memorize where you're going on the show Mm. and when you're marching. So if you're you're trying to march and remember the song song that you're trying to play, but also trying to remember where you're going. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of different factors you have to consider. Um, while doing all those things at the same time. So it's very um, fast-paced and uh, the word I'm looking for. Um, uh, I can't think. I'm having a brain fart, but. That's all right. (laughs) (laughs) Very fast-paced, but yeah. So with that being said, um, has your experience in the band been everything you thought it would be before you joined it? Or has it been more? Oh, man. Honestly, um, that is a good question. Uh, I want to say it has been more. I mean, because honestly, when I when I first pictured myself be, at being a, at a HBCU band, I was like, okay, drumline, Nick Cannon. I'm like, okay, that's of what course. we're gonna do. I'm so and good. Honestly, it was saying. like that. It <laughs> yeah. was it was definitely like that. Yeah. It, it's sometimes worse than that, but it was it was all good memories, only good memories. But but yeah, I definitely ex- I saw more because the it's really the traveling that made me feel more. And mm-hmm. then the traveling gets you amped, and then when you get there, it's like, oh, we're going to war. So mm-hmm. it's like, it's a, it's a greater feeling than I imagine. So for sure. Yeah. yeah. So what's the one thing that made you stay dedicated to the band? Because I know this isn't like a life or death thing, of course, oh, but like, what made um, you stay? My love for music. So my love for music came from my dad's side of the family, uh-huh. and um, so when I got to college, I. Um, I just always done band like since sixth grade, so I was like, okay, I like playing an instrument. And at first, I was like, eh, do I really want to do this? But mm-hmm. I just knew I love music. Like, if I didn't love music, I probably wouldn't have been in band. But mm-hmm. and my love for music gravitated into my personal life with audio engineering. So I was like, well, I might as well stay around, stay in band because I want to learn more about audio engineering, so mm-hmm. I can also implement that in the music I'm playing. And then I like to be around other people that do music. So it's like, well. Why not stay in band? Because mm-hmm. then I find different connections and find that other people like to do the same thing I'm doing. So mm-hmm. that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So really, um, so what if you had to tell somebody thinking about coming into the band or thinking about the market store, what would you, what what advice would you give them? Um, <laughs> come prepared because you're gonna work. That's that's literally it. Come prepared because you're gonna work. So that's the only thing I could say, honestly. <laughs> come yeah. prepared. Come prepared. Mm-hmm. Well, we will be right back right after this commercial. Stay tuned in. We're going to come back with some juicy things. Monday, January 24th. If you want to be the best, HBCU bands are the celebrities of the band world. We the most vicious things on the block. Sacrifice everything. If at the end of the routine you're not sweating, tired, out of breath, you're not doing it right. And go full out. The band is ranked number eight. You gonna rank us number eight? We take things personally, bro. You all are living up to the tradition. It's gonna be a show to see. March limited series premieres Monday, January 24th. Free next day, only on the CW app. Monday, January 24th. 
If you want to be the best. HBCU bands are the celebrities of the damn world. We the most vicious things on the block. Sacrifice everything. If at the end of the routine, you're not sweating, tired, out of breath, you're not doing it right. And go full out. The band is ranked number eight. You're going to rank us number eight? We take things personally, bro. You all are living up to the tradition. It's going to be a show to see. March. Limited series premieres Monday, January 24th. Free next day, only on the CW app. Monday, January 24th. If you want to be the best, HBCU bands are the celebrities of the damn world. We the most vicious things on the block. Sacrifice everything. If at the end of the routine, you're not sweating, tired, out of breath, you're not doing it right. And go full out. The band is ranked number eight. You're going to rank us number eight? We take things personally, bro. You all are living up to the tradition. It's going to be a show to see. March. Limited series premieres Monday, January 24th. Free next day, only on the CW app. I think that it was everything I expected him to say, but plus more. Like what? Five o'clock in the morning? Would you even wake up? No, I, can <laughs> I literally could not. <laughs> I mean, uh, but it, it's it's just lovely. It's refreshing seeing people, you know, that's in the band, that's experienced the band, come and talk with us and tell us their personal experiences. So that's been good. Agreed. What did you think? I thought it was truthful and I thought it was honest. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I felt everything he had to say. And like yeah. like the commercial, you know, they take everything to heart, you know, and it's mm -hmm. like, it's personal. And you can tell the passion, you see it in them. And mm -hmm. I, I think that is so amazing. So I really, I really agree with everything he had to say. The dedication. Yes. The endless hours, like we said. I mean, it's it's been more than amazing. And I'm so very excited to see this thing play out. No, seriously. Right yeah. in front of our eyes. And then to review it in real time. Yeah. So this is going to be super dope. Like. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> are you anticipating it like we are? I hope you are. It will be premiering on March 24th. I mean, January 24th. <laughs> the March. <laughs> anyway, Ooh. thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you next Monday.